The report also introduces a DDoS maturity model. What is that and how can security use it to see where they stand when it comes to protecting and securing their own infrastructure? So one of the things we're often asked, so if I go talk to the board, um, they want to know, how am I doing compared to my peers? How am I, How is this industry compared to other industries? Because they're trying to understand the risk. And, and you know, I as, as a board member, I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing by my, my stockholders. I'm investing enough in security, but I'm also not over-investing in security. Because, you know, I... I always tell my junior analysts, you can invest $100 in security or a billion dollars. Neither number will guarantee that nobody gets in. It's just not practical. So you got to figure out what between 100 and a billion, what the right number for your org is. And so as somebody in the board, they want to say, you know, well, how mature is our capability? So FSISAC and, and Akamai sat down and said, let's build a little framework so they can go talk to leadership and so they can actually manage their program with some goals. And so the levels are initial, reactive, proactive, manage, and adaptive. And so, you know, initial is you have the bare bones, basic things you would need. Um, probably not where most leadership would say, okay, that's an appropriate level. Um, next you have reactive where if something happens, you could probably get through it, but there's going to be some impact. It's not going to be clean. Proactive, you know, again, you're, you're probably depending on your size, your expectations, where someone would want to see you proactive, maybe for a credit union, but not a top tier bank managed and then adaptive. And these are all we kind of lay out in the report. What kind of things would be done at each level? What kind of expectations? And so when you go and you talk to the board and you say, listen, right now, the amount we've invested for DDoS protection is initial. And we think most people, you know, if we went into a class action lawsuit, a reasonable person would expect us to be at proactive. That's a great framework to enable a discussion. 